Today, I want to show you on one resize AI 2022. I have a beta version. This is going to be a first look video for you. I think you're really going to be impressed. So stay tuned. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Well, on one resize AI will be released very soon, and I have a beta version of it, and I want to show that to you today. I'll be showing you the standalone version today, but it also does come with on one photo raw 20. 22 and along with that you'll have no noise in there no noise ai you'll be able to do sky replacements you have on one effects on one portrait on one hdr but it is a full featured editing solution and one thing i really enjoy with on one photo raw 2022 is the layer masking it has exceptional tools for working with layer masking but i'll be doing more videos on that but today i'm working out of lightroom and i will send this tiff file which is fully processed into on one resize ai and i will crop it there and i will upsize it right in on one resize ai and then after i show you this first look i'm going to show you three examples of images that i've aggressively cropped and I'll show you what kind of results I got with On One Resize AI. You don't want to miss that. The first thing I'm going to do is right click on the image and go to Edit In, and I'm going to find On One Resize AI 2022 right here. I'm going to click on that, and I'm going to send this in. Now, they recommend going in as a PSD file, but I'm going to use TIFF. This is generally the way I work, and I don't find any problems with it whatsoever. Uh, I'm using Adobe RGB. Actually, I'm going to change that to Profoto because this is the color space I like to work with because it gives you the most color. And then the bit depth, I always use 16 bits. I'm going to use a resolution of 360. I'm going to change it here from 300 to 360 because I have an Epson printer and that's what it likes. And I'm going to use no compression because I don't want to compress my <laughs> images. I want as much information as I can get in my files. And then I'll just click edit and that'll fire up on one resize AI. And I'll crop the image first and then we'll do the upsizing. So here we are in on one resize AI and it's a really nice clean interface. Now over on the left hand side, you're gonna see some different presets for different printers and so on, which is really nice. And here's our crop tool, we'll get to that in a second. And now here at the upper center of the uh, interface, we have zoom where we can have various zoom levels. We can fit zoom to 100% magnification, which it is right now. And then we can go to 50 or 25. And then on the right hand side is where we make our adjustments and so on. And then down here, we have different things we can do. As you can see right now, we're in resize, but you can print right from this module. You can share your image from this module and you can export your image as well. I'm not gonna get into that today. This is a first look. Today, I wanna to show you how to upsize your image and how to crop your image, and we're gonna see what kind of results we can get. Now, I'll go ahead and crop this image, and what I wanna really do here is, let's put this on fit. What I wanna do is really zoom into this center portion of this sunflower with this B. I think this would make a really cool image. Now, this is gonna be a super aggressive crop, so let's come over to crop. We'll click on it, and then we have a bunch of information up here. You know, the width and the height, and it tells us our pixel dimensions here. And then uh, we can level our image if we need to. We can uh, rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise, as well as reset our crop, and we can apply our crop. And if you want to go back and change your crop, you can do that as well. But let's go here where it says freeform. This is a drop down. And I think I want to do this as a one by one square aspect ratio, but we have a bunch of different presets in here and different presets for papers and, you know, different print sizes and all kind of stuff. So, I mean, it's really full featured. I haven't untapped everything yet, but I'm learning as I go and I will share with you as I learn more. Okay. Back to the drop down menu. I want to change this to one by one square. And you can see I have a one by one square. And if I come out to the uh, left lower corner here, you can see I can, you know, rotate this. When you come to all the corners, you can get a rotate. You see that how that little rotate area comes up? Yeah, you have to hover out a little bit over it. I'm not going to rotate it, but I'm going to drag these this in here to make this smaller. 
and then I'm going to drag on to my flower here. Now I don't want any of the petal edges here. I want all those hidden, so I'm going to pull this crop in tight. As I said, I want to get really aggressive. Now this is going to be a really good test for on one resize AI, see what kind of result it will give me. And I think somewhere right around there is good. Now, all you have to do to accept that crop is click apply. Now, if you decide, oh shoot, I didn't get it centered quite right, you can come back here to crop. And again, you can readjust it and say, well, my centering was a little off, I can fix that, and then click apply again. Okay, so now what do I do? Well, what you need to do next is come over to the right hand side of the interface here and see where it says photo size. Click on that and you will notice that this is the size of your image. It's 15, 15 pixels by 15, 15 pixels, which makes sense because it's a square crop. Now there's different ways of resizing and we can resize to long edge. This is how I have it set up right now. But if you click this drop down, you could uh, do it to dimensions and you put your own dimensions in long edge, short edge, the width the height, megapixels, or percentage. So you have different ways that you can go here. I'm gonna go with long edge because what I'm thinking is a 20 by 20 inch print. Now we can also view by pixels, inches, centimeters, and millimeters. Okay, right now it's on pixels. So I'm gonna change this to 6,000 pixels, okay? And then when I just tap over here, you see my image has resized itself. Once you see that image get larger, you have to wait a second or two for the resizing algorithms to take effect. I'm gonna zoom in and take a closer look, but before I do that, I want you to notice something here. If I come over here where it says pixels and click this drop down and change this to inches, you can see that I can make a 20 inch print out of this, okay? And uh, you can also see how many centimeters or millimeters it is, so that's kind of nice. And then here where it says resolution, now I have a Epson printer and it likes 360, so I can type in 360 right here and that will be right for my Epson printer. And then over here, see the three dots here? If you click this, there's different presets that you can use here as well. So this is a really full featured piece of software. Quite incredible if you ask me. You can also set this to pixels per inch or pixels per centimeter. I like to use pixels per inch. If you've ever worked with Topaz Gigapixel AI, you know they have a lot of different AI models and you gotta pick the model that's right for your image. There's no picking here. On One Resize does it all for you, so you don't need a whole bunch of comparison views. They've really simplified the job for us, okay? So now let's go ahead and zoom in. So if I uh, click right on this B right here, I've zoomed in to 100% and you can see I'm at 100%. Now see, it takes a second or two before that you know, that upsizing takes effect. So you got to wait for that. But look how sharp and clear that is. That's really amazing. After I've zoomed in, you'll notice I now have this hand tool so I can move around and check out the various parts of my image and see if everything looks A-OK. -okay. I'll keep scrolling around and checking out how everything looks and see if it's OK. And sometimes you have to wait a second for it to catch up to itself. So when you, if you move too fast, you may be out of the area and you have to let it uh, redo its upsizing so you can take a look. But it's really quick here. And now I'm back to the B and everything looks great and I'm really happy with it. Now, if you notice over here on the right side of the interface, we have more things we can do, like we can sharpen this image more. This image looks sharp. It was already sharpened before it ever came in here. So I don't think I'd resharpen it, but I'll show you the sharpening in a sec. But you also have film grain. You can add film grain or you could do image tiling where you take this B image and you fill a whole wall in your house up with that one image. You know, and you can break it up into say six different pieces and then just let that spread out across your wall, which is really nice. And then you can do gallery wraps, which is for canvas prints, which is really nice as well. And again, don't forget, you can uh, print right from this module. You can share from here. You can export from here. And don't forget, this is a part of On One Photo Raw 2022. And that means it's a full editing solution for you from the initial edit from raw file down to printing it out. I almost forgot to show you sharpening. So let's come up here to sharpening. Let's click this on and you'll notice we have different types of sharpening. We can fix focus. We can sharpen for a screen like a computer monitor or the internet. And then we can sharpen for print, but there's fixed focus and you have different types of sharpening, high pass, progressive or unsharp mask. And then for screen, 
They recommend progressive. And then you also have high pass or, or unsharp that you could use as well. And then print. And these look like they're kind of presets in my opinion already for you for the screen or for print. I have to check into that some more. And also for the fixing focus, I think they're recommending high pass. But you could use any of the different types that you want. And then here where it says more, when you click here, you're going to see all these other presets to take care of all the different type of image situations that you might run into. But for me, I'm going to go ahead and shut this sharpening off. And if you click right here, you'll collapse that, okay? And now all that's left for me to do is come down here to the bottom right hand side of the interface and click done. And that'll send us back into Lightroom. And you'll notice it's saving. I'm going to leave this in real time so you see how long this takes it is pretty quick i must say but i gotta tell you i really like on one resize ai it is really an exceptional piece of software and now we're back in lightroom so let's get a look i'm going to select both of these images and go into xy comparison mode and we started out with the image on the right and end up with the image on the left look at that resizing okay and i could get a 20 by 20 inch print out of that I'll zoom in to 100% and they both zoom in, but look how sharp and clear that is all around. Quite amazing. You got to check out this new on one resize AI. Now let me go ahead and get out of comparison mode here. And I want to show you a couple other examples. I have this image and this image and take a look. The image on the left is the on one resize, which came from the image on the right. And I'll zoom into 100% and look how tack sharp that is. And then I have this image and I was able to crop out this image on the left and upsize it and resize AI. But look how great it is from the image on the right. And to me, this is just a beautiful image. It's super tack sharp and would make, in my opinion, a lovely print. Now, I'm a flower photographer, and that is my specialty, but I love to crop my images tight, and having this kind of uh, resizing software is a big friend to you if you like macro photography. The last image I want to show you was shot with an iPhone. This was my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I shot this a couple days ago, and I really liked the image. It was really sharp. I went ahead and did an aggressive crop on it and upsized it. Here it is at 100% magnification. Now the long edge on this is like 6,000 pixels. All these uh, images are like uh, 6,000 pixels on the long edge, except for the first one I did, which was the sunflower and the bee. Remember, I originally started out at 6,000, but when I changed the DPI to 360, the um, pixel dimension changed to 7,200 by 7,200. Now, the first three images were shot on my Canon 5D Mark II, and as I said, this frog was shot on my iPhone 13 Pro Max. Well, there it is, everyone. This was a first look video at On One Resize AI, and I got to tell you, I think it is exceptional. You got to give it a try. Hey, if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like and share it with your friends. And if you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. And I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.